that's P.O. with then we'll be news back with another video. And in today's video, we are going to do my mid-season 2020 MLB season predictions. And if you have not seen my video doing my right or wrong from my start of season predictions, you might want to watch that video. Link in the description below to that video. So go ahead and watch that video after you get done watching this video. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications notifications so you will get notified whenever I upload a video. Link to my other channels in the description below and let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's start off with AL East. Um, last time we did a prediction video, we started off with the NL. So let's go ahead and start off with the AL this time. Starting off in the AL East, coming in at fifth place is going to be the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox have been awfully disappointing. I thought they were going to be a fourth place team, but man, this team has been so disappointing to start the season. Um, they have no relief pitching, no starting pitching. They have no pitching at all, and they were and their hitting has been disappointing. Um, this team is just been awfully disappointing to start this season. Coming in at fourth place is going to be the Baltimore Orioles. I don't think the Orioles will get to the point where they well, I don't think they'll get in fifth place in their division just because they have started off the season as a little bit of a surprise team, a team that was expected to be in fifth place in the AL East and they're not they're better than that um this season so that's good um the Orioles have some excited prospects D.L. Hall, Adley Rutschman, Grayson Rodriguez those prospects and this is going to be an exciting team for the future coming in at third place is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays and they will make the playoffs obviously with the expanded playoffs there will be 16 teams in the playoffs and um there's eight teams in each division, so you have the number one playing the number eight, number two, seven, uh, three, six, and four, five. You get it, um, or I hope you do. Um, coming in at second place is going to be the New York Yankees. I'm sticking with my start of season predictions that the New York Yankees are a second place team. They've been so bad. They're playing so bad baseball. Um, they have had some injuries. Um, Gary Sanchez has been terrible for them, and um, that's tough. Coming in at first place is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. And this has to be the best prediction that I made at the start of the season to put the Rays in first place. This team's been so good this season. Now moving on to the AL Central. Coming in at fifth place is going to be the Kansas City Royals. The Royals have been so bad to start the season. Um, that's not a surprise to anyone. But they've been very bad. Um, I am surprised Whit Merrifield hasn't at least said I want out of Kansas City yet and whenever he says um, he wants out of Kansas City I'm not blaming him a bit because I understand his frustration he's actually in his like 30s so he's closer to the end of his career um, so I understand that he wants to win coming in at fourth place is going to be the Detroit Tigers the Tigers started off the season hot and then they got off and then they just fell off a cliff um, it's very simple Coming in in third place, it's going to be the Chicago White Sox. I think the White Sox are a team that, um, I think the White Sox are a team that's kind of a third place team right now. Um, I think Cleveland is a very good baseball team right now. And, I mean, I think with their pitching, they come in in second place. Coming in in second place is going to be Cleveland. And in first place, it's going to be the Minnesota Twins. Even though the Twins have got off to a slow start, a lot of players have got off to a slow start for them. I think they're getting ready to get, um, um, kind of go on a run, if that makes any sense. Now we've got to the AL West. Coming in in fifth place is going to be the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners are a team that's in the rebuilding phase. Um, Justin Dunn's been a surprise for them. Kyle Lewis, they've had a lot of players being being a surprise. Evan White's been a disappointment. They've had some surprise players. And next team is the LA Angels. The Angels have been a team that's disappointed everyone. Um, I could put them in fifth place, but I'm not. I think they're a better team than a fifth place team, and I think they will go on a mini run. They're currently on a five-game winning streak at the time of filming this video. Coming in at third place is going to be the Texas Rangers. Even though the Rangers are 3-17 and in the last 20, I think they will get off to a bit of a run. And coming in at second place is going to be the Houston Trash Can Bangers. The Trash Can Bangers are a team that's been disappointing. They've had a lot of injuries, just like the Yankees. And yeah, coming in at first place is going to be the Oakland Athletics. The Oakland Athletics are a team that's been very good to start the season. Without Marcus Simeon, um, if Marcus Simeon's healthy, this team's going to be so good. Moving on to the NL East, coming in at fifth place is going to be a 
surprise pick here. And I feel like it's a pick that's maybe a little, um, a little out of the box right now, but it's the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies are a team that I think is getting ready to go on a big down streak. Um, they're currently 20-17, and 17, which I know is a decent record. But I feel like they're a team that the Mets are getting ready to um, jump over them and the Marlins. I think they're, they could, they're getting ready to go in fourth place. Um, but coming in in fourth place is going to be the Washington Nationals. The Nationals are a team that's been so bad this season. Uh, and that's not a surprise to anybody. They have been so incredibly bad to start this season. Um, and, I mean, this team's just been so bad. And I, I just really can't explain it. Like, they're so bad. And, um, this, the NL East has been kind of weak this year, honestly. I, I feel like, um. I feel like it's been awfully weak for a division that's kind of been a good division, if that makes any sense. A really good division. Um, next and second place is, or next and third place is the New York Mets. The Mets will make the playoffs. And coming in at second place is going to be the Miami Marlins. Um, Marlins are a team I never thought I would say going in the playoffs, but they're going to this year. I think they're going to make the playoffs. Do they make a deep run? You'll have to watch till the end of the video. And in first place is the Atlanta Braves, um, my favorite team. And now Central in fifth place is going to be the Pittsburgh Pirates. Not much explaining needed there. Um, next in fourth place is going to be the St. Louis Cardinals. I feel like they're getting... I, 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 they're an interesting team to predict where they're gonna, what they're going to do. In third place is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers are a team that I feel like is just a mediocre baseball team. Red, in second place is going to be the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds are a team that I feel like boosted their relief pitching out of the trade line, and their starting pitching is so good. Um, their hitting has been so, the duo of Winker and Castellanos has been so good. And coming in at first place is going to be the Chicago Cubs. That's not a shocker to anybody. They've been really good to start the season. And like Chris Bryant hasn't even been hitting well at all, so they've um, they're going to be really good when Chris Bryant starts hitting. Um, in fifth place is going to be the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are a team that, yikes, they're a mess this year. They paid Mad Bum four years, $80 million to be terrible. And fourth place is going to be the San Francisco Giants just missing out on the playoffs, I think. I think they barely miss out on the playoffs. Third place is going to be the Colorado Rockies, and the Rockies will make the playoffs. Coming in at second place is going to be the San Diego Padres. This team will make the playoffs as well. They are so good. And in first place is the LA Dodgers. Now let's move on to the AL playoffs. We've got the number two seed Rays, number four Yankees, number one, number one Rays, no, number two Rays, number four Yankees, number one Twins. I think the Twins are about to go on a huge run. Um, number five Cleveland. Number three, A's. Number six, Astros. Number seven, White Sox. Number eight, Blue Jays. Um, for the NL playoffs, number two, Braves. Number six, Marlins. Number three, Cubs. Number five, Reds. Number one, Dodgers. Number four, Padres. Number seven, Mets. And number eight, Rockies. AL playoffs, round one, you've got the number one, Twins, versus the number eight, Blue Jays. And in this series, in this series, I'm going to go with the upset here, and the Blue Jays win this series. Number two, Rays versus number seven, White Sox. In this series, you know who I'm going with. I'm going with the Tampa Bay Rays. They are so good this season. Number three, A's versus number six, Astros. Um, in this series, they's win. And the number four, Yankees versus number five, Cleveland. And in this series, um, I would love to pick the upset Cleveland baseball team, but feel like the Yankees are the better team, so I have to go with the Yankees. For the NL playoffs round one, number one, Dodgers versus number eight, Rockies. Nightmare scenario for the Rockies. Dodgers win. And these are three-game series, too, so I'll just go ahead and say um, I think in that series it'll be a sweep. Number two, Braves versus number seven, Mets. I think this is an interesting series, and I think in this series it will go to three games and the Braves win. 
Number three, Cubs versus number six, Marlins. This game, this series will be a sweep by the Cubs. Number four, Padres versus number five, Reds. This is going to three games as well. And the Padres move on. AL playoffs, round two, the number one, Twins versus the number two, Rays. And in this one, um, this will be a five-game series. These are five-game series in round two. Number one, Twins versus number two, Rays. I think this one goes to five games and the Rays move on. Number three, A's versus number four, Yankees. I don't think the Yankees get beat in this series. And I think the Yankees get a sweep in this series. In L playoffs round two, number one, Dodgers versus number two, Braves. And you know who I'm going with right here, the number two, Braves. The Braves are moving on. Number three, Cubs versus number four, Padres. The Padres are moving on. The AL Playoff Championship Series, you've got the number two Rays versus the number four Yankees. And the NL Playoff Championship Series, you've got the Braves versus the Padres. And in the World Series, um, or moving on to the World Series, will be the number two Rays. I think I'm keeping with my prediction. The Rays are going to the World Series. And for the, you know, um, the Padres, they're such a scary team. Um, especially in a seven-game series, they are so scary to me. And as much as I want to be biased here and pick the Braves, I've got to be realistic, and I think the Padres win this one in seven. I hate to do it. I, I really do. I want the Braves to go to the World Series so bad, but I feel like the Padres or the team... I mean... <sighs> I mean, I hate to do it. I hate, I hate to not pick the Braves for the World Series. But I feel like the Padres are the better team. Number two, Rays versus number four, Padres. And in this series, winning the 2020 World Series in a seven-game series is the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays are winning the 2020 World Series. So those are my updated 2020 MLB season, mid-season predictions, I guess you could call them. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You will get notified whenever I upload a video. Link to my other channels in the description below. And thank you for watching, and I will be back with more videos soon.